A young woman living alone in Phoenix found dead in her apartment and police believe it was no accident. Tonight, the victim's mother pleading for help and catching her daughter's killer. ABC 15's Mike Pelton joining us live near 19th Avenue in Thunderbird. And Mike, you've been speaking with her family tonight about their sudden and heartbreaking loss. Yeah, and 22 year old Robin Simmons last talked to her mom last Friday. She was found dead inside her apartment just a few days later on Sunday. And today her mom describes her as a young woman who would help anyone. She now hopes someone helps her get justice. She was my daughter. She was a granddaughter. She was a sister. She was a cousin. Ranisha Connor now has to talk about her daughter. 22 year old Robin Simmons in the past tense. I plead to the community. I plead to everyone who has a loved one who know anything about Robin. Please come forth. Ranisha tells us her daughter was a pharmacy technician. Her family sounding the alarm Sunday when no one had heard from her. Her body found inside her apartment near 19th Avenue in Thunderbird. Police say Robin lived alone. There were no signs of forced entry and no clear motive. You would think, well, it's the ex-boyfriend. Is there, you know, who does, who do detectives think is involved? And I could tell you that right now, we don't have an answer to that. Robin leaves behind a four-year-old daughter who was staying with other family members and seen here with one of them. The 22-year-old victim often seen with a smile, her whole life ahead of her, or so she thought. But let me tell you something, you perpetrator, you thief. You thought you stole, but you didn't. Robin still lives on. She left us with a legacy of her daughter. A four-year-old who will grow up without her mom. She can't hear her voice. How am I explaining that to her baby? That a thief came and stole her away. Now, Phoenix police are calling this a homicide, although they are not releasing how Robin died. That is something only the killer would know. And now tonight, tips in this case can go to Phoenix police. And yes, you can remain anonymous. For now, we're live in Phoenix tonight. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona.